All right, welcome back. We have an alchemy deck, a little bit of an older one. The Boromir Rhododrobic combo. I haven't tried it out, but I'm very interested to. But before we get into it, if you find yourself coming back to the channel, hit that subscribe button for you. It's a small act for you, but it's a huge deal for me. Uh, and it's greatly appreciated. But let's get into this deck. Uh, what we're going to run is four Delighted Halflings, or a little bit of ramp. One stone of Erich. Uh, if a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. But you can also sacrifice it to exile target player's graveyard and draw a card. Uh, four Orcish Bowmasters. Now, because it's an older deck, this was pre, uh, I guess, the card errata got changed a bit. So, I don't know if it's still, like, amazing in the deck, but... We're going to try it as it was made. If not, then I'll probably change them out for other things like, you know, maybe a couple Virtue of Persistence or something like that. Go for the Throats uh, to kill what we need to kill. Elias Il Core. It's an amazing card as well. Uh, assemble the team so we can uh, start finding what we need to throw out and play. Uh, Malira the Living Cure, another legendary creature. Uh, she's got the little poison uh, counter thing where she can, you know, reduce it, but that's not really why we have her. It's just to save something that we might need to save. Uh, Boromir, Warden of the Tower. He's one of the big combo pieces as his sacrifice to give creatures indestructible and be tempted by the ring is pretty cool, especially with Rhododrobic. Legion to Ashes, in case you get overrun with some nonsense tokens, or you just straight up need to exile something. Uh, three Relic of Legends, so you can ramp up a little bit. War of the Last Alliance, uh, search your library for a legendary creature card, reveal it, and put it to your hand. But when it's all said and done, creatures you control gain double strike, and the ring will tempt you. Good for a last final attack. Uh, she ordered the Apocalypse as it's a legendary creature, and as always, she could win games on her own, so at least one is pretty nice. And then Rhododrobic of Urborg, Vigilance War 2. Other zombies you control have Vigilance, and when another legendary creature you control dies, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's not legendary, and it's a 2 2 black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. And Drana and Limbala. Uh, flying Vigilant, activated abilities of your creatures, uh, activated abilities of creatures your opponent control can't be activated. And Drana and Levana have all activated abilities of all creatures your opponent controls. You may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to activate those abilities. Uh, as far as lands, we'll be running Caves of Koilos, Restless Fortress, as creature lands are really good, Land of War Wastes. Restless Cottage to have some more. Uh, Brushlands, Razor Verge Thicket, and a Mirex. So with all the extra mana from the ramp and all the creatures, you can build up your creature lands or your poison tokens from Mirex. But, very excited to try the deck out, so let's just go ahead, shut the hell up, and throw down some cards. Angelo 84. All right. Still no white. What is with this? Okay, that, that's fine. But. That, getting rid of the go for the throat is very scary. But with the assemble the team, we can find Boromir. This god damn that's a lot of pain lanes, I tell you what. We do find one though. Dropping out first. I 
I mean, he could still die to a lay down arms, but that's okay. But I think a little flying vigilance can be useful. Okay, Frodo. Keep up some indestructible so we don't so we don't have to die as much. But the siege veteran is gonna be an issue with how much he keeps growing. Yeah, so we can't attack with a block with them, that's okay. Go ahead and make them indestructible. Although a shoulder probably would have been better, but the death touch is the best way to get rid of the siege veteran. And a shoulder's there too, with rod of drop. I guess it really didn't matter, but I could play the uh, sadistic pilgrim this turn, so that's why I chose it over shoulder. Uh. What, what the hell is happening? Scribe 2, then target opponent, and draw a card. That player doesn't you mill X cards, or X is the number of influence counters. I don't know, I don't care. Oh shit, I should have attacked with the halfling. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that. Still stay. That's fine.
and assemble the team. We will get you back out. Then, let's see, we could swing in with you and you. And keep the second. That was why we did it. I guess we should have used the board man to block the uh Ganitha, but it doesn't matter now. And unfortunately we cannot afford to lose the line. But we can't really, you know, gamble too much on that, so... Fortunately, we do a goddamn land guard. But now we have two death touchers out. Kinda helps. But we gotta start putting out some damage. I'll find a way to deal with the Danitha pretty much. men up in a card in hand so it's probably something we can do so we got rid of those two problems but what card is in his hand But we have the ring fully tinted up, so we've got somewhat of an advantage.
That will be annoying, for sure. I'm sure, he's gonna create a token. Yep. A nice little jump blocking. But he quits out. Okay. Super fun. Let's go ahead and jump into another match. Alright. I guess that's Satra. I don't know. Weird name. But again, we don't have any white mana, but we do have the halfling, so we can take a chance. Don't know if it's going to be a wise move, but got to do what we got to do. If our opponent is here. Okay, how many times I got to fucking click that thing? Okay, man, it's first turn. Jesus Christ. I have, or maybe it's just his first time playing Alchemy. That's probably what it is. Oh, great. Zorius Control. Super fun. Super cool. She's like reading every single card. Oh my god. But we need to get a white source stat. We might be in trouble. Well, we can't assemble a team, I guess. But there's no land. There we go. White source. Oh my god. That's pretty good. Go ahead and assemble the team. I'm sure it'll probably run into a counter, but I don't really care. Swinging on Boromir, force him to finally interact. Oh, that was stupid of me. Because it's exiled, I forgot that I was best my exiles. Yep. But we'll drop the Drana and Levana. At least we can fly. So that'll work out in our favor. But if he's got a lot of uh, artifacts, this is probably a useless thing. land or maybe some of our combo pieces in play would be all right but 
both those have an R, so that's kind of an issue. Maybe some Lord Skitters in here would be nice. out there. I don't know how useful it's going to be now. But our guy over here is playing for worlds, man. I mean, I've just been playing Magic too long. I already pretty much know what all the cards are in standard and alchemy. I don't have to sit here and wait and think. Because I've seen his deck before, so I know what to expect. But this may be his first time playing that deck, so cut him a little slack there. some of our legendary creatures won't be as devastating. But right now that John and Nirvana carrying this deck on their back. <laughs> but I did screw up in the beginning so that was kind of on me. deck of Boromir, we'd be in business and close this out. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm thinking he might have another L set smite in his hand. Otherwise, you know, he wouldn't really throw that out like that. 
unless he's just bluffing. But there's no reason to take the chance at the moment. So we'll swing in some death touchers. See if he wants to take it or not. That smite is good for us. Strange deck you got, but it's very interesting. there. Wind Reader Sphinx is pretty cool though.
And then we take six of eight, nine. Doesn't matter. Well, the LSL core got us there in the end, so that is pretty cool. Really like this deck though. I think it could use a little bit of upgrades, I guess from the, the newer set of wilds, but something to look at as the deck still runs pretty well as it is. It's uh it's pretty fun, but it does take a lot of wild cards if you know you don't have a lot of these legendary creatures or whatever, but I enjoyed it, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, especially made it this far. I mean, I, I really appreciate the hell out of you. I mean, that opponent was driving me crazy with taking forever on the turns, but it is what it is when it comes to magic. But uh, thank you guys for watching, especially made it this far. I appreciate the hell out of you. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because subscribing makes you feel good.